What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. Here on the channel, we discuss all things audio and video, like new movies and new AV equipment. So if it's your first time here, consider tapping that subscribe button for new weekly videos. In for review, we've got Birds of Prey on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not going to be reviewing the movie itself, I'm just going to be sharing with you some of my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 3.4K, it's got a 4K DI, it's rated R, runtime is 109 minutes, aspect ratio is 239 by 1, therefore you will have those black letterbox bars. Birds of Prey and the Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. It's a good enough looking movie. If you were to compare it to The Suicide Squad, I'd say it's about two notches sharper. Suicide Squad was a softy. Sharpness and detail wise, I wouldn't put it in the crispy category, but it is noticeably better than the standard Blu-ray version. Close-ups of course look great. Wrinkles and scars and glitter come through in high detail. Harley's many costumes have excellent textures from glossy sheen to glittery sequins. HDR actually makes all these costumes pop quite nicely. There's a rainbow of colors in the movie which range from bold and vivid to dingy and dark. The color palette kind of reminded me of the Joel Schumacher Batman movies. You'll see orange backgrounds, red backgrounds, blue backgrounds, black, you name it, it's just a colorful movie. Now even though this does exude all these various shades, it's not of the very bright Aquaman type of HDR transfers. Still, there are some very nice eye-popping spectral highlights from the explosion in Chapter 1, and those aforementioned colorful outfits do have some excellent sparkle. Black levels and shadow detail were good, but can look a bit grayish at times. I think it's an intended look, but I figured I'd mention it. Ooh. Ouch! <laughs> Audio is in Dolby Atmos, and this sounded the same as what I heard in the theaters while I was awake. Overhead Atmos activity was light when it came to any kind of effects, but they did kick into high gear when there was any kind of music playing. The couple of times I heard the overheads grab my attention was in Chapter 5 when Harley's voice is moving around the room while she's all tied up. And during the jailbreak out scene, you'll hear the sprinklers raining down water above your head. But for the most part, it's just some very light ambiance, if any, and the musical soundtrack. Bass response I thought was weak and didn't do much to enhance any of the action scenes unless I bumped up the subwoofer level. Well, the Acme explosion in Chapter 1, that was pretty cool. Dialogue was always fine and always easy to hear, so no problems there. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 7.1. The musical soundtrack was the best part of this mix. Everything else was just average at best. For video, I'm gonna go with an 8.2. It's a nice little upgrade from the 1080p version, but it wasn't like a knock your socks off difference. HDR does enhance the color richness, which you'll find a lot of in this movie. I don't think it's the best looking or sounding DC movie. I also don't think it's the worst. We're talking about audio and video quality here. So if you must have the best transfer and enjoy the DCEU, then this is the best version to get. Now what are your thoughts on Birds of Prey on 4K Blu-ray? Did you think the transfer was good? And also, what did you think of the movie? Leave us a comment and let us know. If you want to pick this movie up, I'll leave some links for it in the video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can find us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive updates and great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in the next one.